See, baby, Joey, I know you had a heart in you somewhere. You just, just had to find it for me. Yes, please take your ass back to Salem for you can get your sentence for that damn judge car that y'all destroyed. Well, y'all didn't destroy y'all damage. Please take your ass back to Salem and leave J.D. Pooh there where she is. Because she ain't no good for you anyways. And never mind. Yeah, she ain't no good for you. So take your ass back to Salem. <laughs> Bell. Bell, Bell, Bell. Sean lost days and confused wondering what the fuck he doing. Bell wakes up, look, she goes, oh, Lord, she look like, oh, Lord, I didn't lay with this mistake. She talked, she had a pop poor pill, she woke up with a damn headache. Ooh, and put the icing on the cake that, um, Claire come down, Mom, are you awake? So I guess she better bust up in the room and watch them two in the bed laid up, half naked. But that should be interesting in the eye for the scene. Oh, Jesus. Salem Riders. Salem Riders. And, and Salem Citizens. Y'all too. Why in the blue hell is y'all taking Bell serious as a lawyer? That is too fucking laughable. And I'm about two seconds of being on the floor laughing, rolling. Bell as a lawyer. Child, please. She can't even get her own personal life together. Better you're talking about being a damn lawyer. Child, please. That's Exhibit A, why I wouldn't hire her as my lawyer. Her life is fucked up already. And then I'm going to have her be my damn lawyer trying to fuck up my... Okay, Salem Citizen, if y'all want to put y'all life and y'all faith in the bell black, y'all go right on here. On the other hand, I go hire some other quack that maybe got their life together other than bell black. But talk about defending me, child, please. The devil is a damn liar. Well, somebody not happy to see their daddy. Mmm. Well, I guess after the story he didn't heard and what he thought his daddy get, I wouldn't be happy to see him neither. I probably would have ran back to my cell too, shit. Fuck that. Because only him coming back to life only going to make life right for Chase ready. Y'all know it or not. That's going to make Chase life from living here now that he back alive. So, I'll be Chase too and say, what the hell, three? So now we got a knowing Bell, and now we got a knowing Kayla. Let's see what's what going to take me over the edge today. Look like Kayla, because Kayla pushing it today. Maybe Bell is going to be a little temporary a little scene with her tired ass. Oh, shit. So this little thing like, oh. Oh, hell no. I wouldn't stay night now. Joey, you better than I ever be. Uh, they would have had me being a goddamn getaway and something when the store. He didn't rob the goddamn store. I believe when everybody sleep and take my ass right back where I came from. Or well, better yet, find me another place. They got y'all robbing fucking store. Uh, well, I guess that what that means. I guess that what they mean. But they tell y'all ass is um, do anything you can to survive. Not even killing somebody. So, hmm. That's some kind of roughneck homeless church I ever heard of. I guess that's how they do it in California. Mm. Baby Joe, I give you points for standing up to yourself saying the hell with that you fit to leave town. But you waited two minutes too late. You waited two minutes too late. And now you seeing that she ain't good and you ready to go back home. Honey, you should have never left town. Not with that crazy hell for like I said, y'all didn't know each other. But I guess she talked you into leaving. So y'all have sex. Y'all don't know if y'all want each other want to do this on a regular, have a little fuck friends. Or how y'all going to play this out when y'all got a daughter? I'm not expecting Belle to be the logical one, the logical thinker in this situation. Maybe sure I can make her ass think right. Her ass will be, um, I don't go to her ass with a thinking kind of girl. I think of her as a... Right now, action kind of girl. God, that's all she been doing to me like that. Action, action, action. So maybe Sean sure can get her together and make her ass think right. I don't see her as no thinker. 
well, Tracia, when it points at me, you admitting that you are a grown man admitting that you did wrong and you shouldn't have went that far. So I give you points for that admitting what you did to her. You ain't hiding it from no more. That, that's good. Congratulations. Points to you. Bell, is any lawyer good enough for you, honey, that you can win a case against or no? Nah? Honey, we know you. Oh. Oh, they taking Bell serious again as a lawyer. Talking about that church that they mentioned the judge like, oh, that ain't good. And any girl good enough for you, Bell, or no? Girl, go find you another profession. Lying to suspect something going on. Um, Claire suspects something going on. And y'all in the damn room. Oh, hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ain't nobody crazy and everybody can put two and two together come walking in there with the same clothes from yesterday. Sean and Bell, you can't keep that Kool-Aid ass smile off your fucking face. Ain't nobody stupid and ain't nobody born yesterday. I like Bell think everybody stupid and ain't supposed to catch on to these little hands. But ain't nobody dumb. We all know what y'all was doing last We know what y'all did last night. And we ain't even have to look or spy. Y'all been in that room together was enough to tell everybody that was in that room, y'all was fucking. Ew, that's nasty, Lonnie. You getting bare nasty leftovers. Honey, she didn't have your man in her bed. And now you want her sloppy seconds. Girl, I'd rather go find somebody else and then go off the bed. After she didn't do her little, her little thrill. Honey, you got to go sanitize your holy body before I mess with bed. Mm -mm. Only if you know why you grabbing him by his goddamn tie. And then you going to kiss him. Mm -mm. Girl, you don't want to know what that tongue didn't be in there or them lips. And you up there kissing him. I'm getting sick to my stomach thinking about it. So, Aunt Kayla, the one going to be the annoying ass today. She insists on going to California. Hurt all maybe about the past or or no. Dr. Finn say he'll go with her. Are you really finna drive me all the way over the... Girl, just get your ass and not come let that man drive you. Kayla, don't you start this shit. You didn't calm down. Now, if it get you started, minus 10 times 10, don't act like Julie today. Please don't. So, the plot thickens with Baby Joey. Yeah, baby, you need to, baby Joe, you need to get your ass out of L.A. God, know what did this man tell him? This don't sound like no good group. And, Lord, don't tell me he's having sex with this girl. I just seen the book, Bad Drop. Oh, Lord, they have it. Now she better use her goods to keep him from staying, to keep him, make him stay in L.A. And this man up here spying on jo Oh, my land. Ooh! And he don't look friendly. So Steve told Sweetness, no, you can't come with me. Sweetness for the alcohol right right, she should come. Sweetness, sit your tired ass down, so your hurt injured ass down somewhere. Well, I know it. Sweetness gonna be annoying this episode. And we got to deal with it. Oh, fuck you, Hope. So that you want me to say that I love you and I really, really love you. Let my son fry. Let my son fry. Don't help my son defend himself. Let him stay in pr Hope, ain't no love that fucking deep. Even though he was fucking wrong. Even though he deserved to be punished. Which he's not going to be punished. I hope you realize that. Because that evidence is dried up anyway. So if yeah, it do go to trial. There's not going to be no judgment for this anyway. So I hope you realize that. So you want this man to let his son basically go on down in the system. Because your daughter got right. Even though he was wrong. I'm not saying he ain't wrong. Hope ain't nobody love that fucking deep to let my damn child, even though he was wrong. Girl, bye. You got me fucked up. Oh, hell no. Is he finna do what I think he finna do with that damn cow that I got that? What did he think? I'm chasing that woman. I mean, chase Jesus. Do he really think baby Joe when that girl is a cow? Bitch? 
Oh my motherfucking gosh. Oh! Uh-uh. Who wants to go first? Joey, you're an idiot if you let him put that shit near you. You don't have to prove it. We know you crazy enough to do it, Jay. I ain't got no objection about your sanity. Girl, bye. Look at her. She all happy and bright eyed. But... Oh. Hmm. Right. Because the tattoo ain't good enough. Now I got to actually burn somebody. Joey, you an idiot if you let him come near you with that damn shit. I ain't no problem about my body got a disease or something. You finna let him put that damn shit near you. Joey, you ain't bright if you let him do that. I'm just letting you know right now. Well, at least Sierra is thinking that, of course, he gonna choose his son over your love. Fuck your love here. That's that man's son. That's blood. Yo, Lord, ain't that goddamn strong enough, Hope. I don't give a fuck what you did to him in the bedroom. Honey, he gonna always pick his son over you. We had the men that we had the end the episode hollering and screaming with Andre and calling people to blow the blackmail that man and to get him out of here. No, stay your ass in there. That what you do, you do the crime, you do the time, Andre. What's wrong with you? You ought to know better than that. Ouch. Oh, so you can't afford for you to get you a lawyer, so you decide to get you a free lawyer that you think you can use trying to blackmail him. Okay, Andre, whatever. Anyway, though, that was the episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.